All right, we want to start off. We have a, a baseball diamond here. Each each side is 90 feet long, and then we have a pitcher's mound, which is 60.5 feet away from the home plate. What this means? Well, we're gonna first. We want to find uh, how far is, is the pitching rubber to first base, and to start doing that, what I'm gonna do here is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, what I can do. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. I uh, had to gather my thoughts there. Uh, so we use the law of cosines in this case, and what we can do is we have the angle here. I know it's 45 degrees because it's it's 90 degree angle uh, bisected. So what's going to be? It's going to be. Um, I don't. Well, my a squared is going to be my. Uh, I'll just call this. Well, it's a. I'll put that in there later. A squared is equal to. And just do 60 60.5 feet squared. Uh, plus 90 squared um, minus 2 times 60.5 times 90 times the cosine of 45 degrees. And what this boils down to after um, running your calculator through all that, it's going to be uh, 4,063.25. And I take the square root of that, and I get my a is equal to 63.74. I'll just round it to 0 0.7. So this up here is 63.7 feet. Now we want to find out next uh, how far is the pitch, how far is the pitching rubber from second base. So we want to know what this length is right here. So in order to do that, all I'm going to do is I'm going to break off this diamond. I'm going to turn it into a what is it, an isosceles triangle, I believe would be the correct term. Oops. So this is 90, 90, 45, 45, which means this is 90 degrees right here. So I can just use the Pythagorean theorem, which will be 90 squared um, plus 90 squared is equal to, let's see here, uh, 16,200. Take the square root of 16,200. I'm going to get 66.78, but I'll just round that to uh, 0.8 feet. So this up here is 66.8 feet. And finally, if the pitcher is facing home plate, uh, how what angle does he have to turn in order to face first base? So that means that our pitcher is facing down and he needs to turn right up here. So it's going to be a little bit greater than 90 degrees, but we'll go ahead and do this here. So I'm going to set this up. I'm going to make this triangle here. Um, I know what my, I want to find what this angle, this angle is here. I'm drawing at. So I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, my side opposing that for using the law of cosines is 90 squared is equal to, I'll use 60.5 plus 63.7. I know that side now. And this is minus 2 times 60.5 times 63.7 times the cosine, I'll just call it A. All right, so what I'm going to do, this is 8,100. This is 7. I add all these together, 7717.94 7, minus 7, 0, oops. Get there eventually. Seven seven zero seven point seven cosine b. So I subtract these. Um, after some manipulation, I get cosine b is equal to negative zero point zero four nine five six eight six. So I get b is equal to uh, such so gets me. Uh, 92.84, just round it to 92.8 degrees. All right, so for part A, uh, your solution is 63.7 feet. For part B, your solution is 66.8. And then for part C, your solution is 92.8 degrees. That's it.